Hi everyone, I'm making an art journal page today and I'm starting with some acrylic paints. You can use whatever you want. The first layer is just going to be some stains of color. I'm not trying to blend them or anything. I'm just going to <laughs> put some paint on my page. Afterwards, I'm going to do some stenciling and I'm going to start with this, I don't know what to call it, peach color and i'm going to put it randomly in several places as i said I, i'm just going to put some paint and i'm going to smear it with some baby wipe you can use a brush it really doesn't matter as i said it's just putting down a let's say stains of color in random places on the page so really doesn't matter here we go next color some kind of I don't know let's call it it doesn't want to open probably some acrylic booger okay uh, so I don't know something in between magenta and some kind of lilac or purple whatever Again, really doesn't matter. Just putting down some paint. Okay. Just switching for to another place on the baby wipe. Right now, I'm not trying to cover everything. I'm just putting down as I said some stains of the color uh, the two other colors uh, the blue and this greenish I don't know very light turquoise are going to be the main colors on the page these two colors that I have used now are I'm going to make them more in the background they just I just want them to pick out uh, from beneath the other colors so that's why it really doesn't matter okay so next this blue color and again I'm putting it quite a uh, randomly and I want to keep Again, I, I need the, some of this to pick through, but uh, I want the blue and the green to be the dominant colors on my page. I'll just add as I go and we'll see what happens. I, and of course when it dries I can always go over and do fixing adding whatever I can <laughs> of course you can uh, just cover everything and start uh, from from the beginning so there is no uh, wrong or right about this next Well, I think I'm just going to put it here this time and not directly on the page so I will have just a little bit more control of what's going on okay the baby wipe does help to spread and blend the colors more uh, also if you are using a brush if you put a little bit of water it will also do the same thing again it's what is more comfortable for you to use and if you don't want to create mud in between the colors and uh, just wait for each color to dry and then add to the mix yeah 
Okay, so just picking in several places, that's enough. Now I'm going to let this dry before I continue, I'll be back. Okay, so this seems to be dry enough. I want to stencil on it. I'm going to use this stencil. Now, I, I kind of didn't like that it was smaller than my page. And I wanted all the page. But I, while I was <laughs> debating if to use it, I decided to do and to use it to my advantage. I'm going to uh, stencil with black. A, around it so I will have some kind of a frame to my page and here I'm going to stencil with white I'm using a makeup sponge and usually I'm using gesso gesso is more opaque the it dries with a more chalky finish and it dries faster than acrylic paint but right now I'm out of gesso and gesso is more expensive not uh, as accessible as acrylic paint so that's why i'm using white acrylic paint you can use gesso whatever uh, uh, you like okay so i'm going to start with the white because i'm uh, just want to see first how it looks on the page and then i will uh, go and do the black now i'm not a uh, trying to do it completely opaque i don't mind that some is picking out from behind if i wanted it to be uh, opaque i will do like two or three uh, layers of the white to get that result right now i'm just dabbing and uh, before I decide what to do next, I will lift the stencil like this and see if I like it, don't like it, if I need more. So, if I need to do some fixing. I was looking for a stencil that wasn't symmetrical and that will just give me a sense of movement on the page. That's it. Uh, that's why I picked this stencil. You can use whatever stencil that you like. It can be symmetrical. It doesn't have to be something like that. The point is to add details and visual texture to the background sometimes i go over the areas that i've already done just so it would look more blended because sometimes you have a little bit more on your sponge even though I'm dabbing away excess so by going to the areas that I've already done I'm blending it more bit more and I can go and do the black I should probably change the sponge so I won't get gray instead of black Okay, almost just going over again places that look to me that need more 
a little bit more attention and blending. Let's see. Oh, this is interesting. I like it. Okay. So let's change the sponge. Here we go. I'm just uh, taking out the dry paint I have on the sponge so I can use it again. Just makeup sponge. Okay. And I'm thinking that I should probably take some paper just so when I'm doing the black it won't get into the white okay so taking black on the sponge again some yeah, of the color underneath it is picking through if I wanted it to be opaque I will have to do another layer but I really like that there is some kind of picking out and I think it gives more interest to the page so not going to do a second layer of the black almost done and then I can move on to the focal point which is going to be an image I've cut from a magazine if you've seen my live stream on focal points it's one of the images that I've cut from a magazine yeah let's see yeah I like it there is a more of a frame here but that's okay I'm going to leave it be now I'm just a this is one image I've cut from a magazine and I'm thinking of using or maybe this one I'm not sure I think this one yeah so I'm going to uh, color it now I can use the rest of the black I'm going to do a kind of silhouette, although I'm going to stencil on top of it, so it won't be complete black silhouette. And let's see, I think instead of using the black paint, I will just use a permanent marker because this is glossy and thin and it would be just easier to go with the permanent marker. To turn it into a complete black very fast I could have used the acrylic paint again I would have to use a small amount of paint because it's thin I wouldn't want to um, the wetness of the paint to ruin the magazine page so a black permanent marker is really a great choice for this kind of thing and you see how quick I'm going about it and it really doesn't matter how you go about covering the whole image Almost done. Yeah. So I've got my focal point. I'm a 
working on this right now so I won't uh, make a mess and I missed a little spot here let's see I'm thinking I don't need the whole image I only need a little bit so I'm placing it to see okay so I need to cut some of it let's take a ruler okay this one and let's see here and here okay I'm just eyeballing it. It's not that uh, important. One millimeter here, one millimeter there. It's not that uh, crucial to the page. And if I'll mess up, there are so many uh, magazine pages just waiting to be cut. So really doesn't matter. that's what I wanted okay so just going to put some glue stick in the back this one's done okay trying to place it and put it in place okay I always miss some with when I'm using a glue stick Especially the edges. Okay. Now, stenciling. I wanted uh, to put some butterflies here and I took some stencils. I'm not sure what will work. I wanted uh, butterflies going from here, from uh, the silhouette to here. So I've got this uh, butterflies that will probably work for this area and I wanted a bigger one and more complicated one here but I'm not sure it's too, I'm thinking that it, maybe it's just a little bit too big or maybe one big I'll do one big here and if I don't like it I will cover it with black <laughs> that's it <laughs> okay so on the silhouette I want the butterflies to stand out and I'm going to use the white acrylic paint and I'm thinking that in between the silhouette and the rest of the page I'm going to switch to the black we'll see again it's just an idea that I had I don't know if it will work now I'm just putting down something and seeing if it works if not I will find something else to do <laughs> sometimes I get an image it doesn't always translate to the page and you just need to adjust as you go I'm just going over a little bit more so it would be more a little bit more opaque but 
that's it I like it okay so what I'm going to be to do now is I'm going to do uh, use this uh, the little <laughs> the smaller uh, butterflies uh, all around and as I said first I'm going to do the white on the silhouette I'm not doing the whole uh, butterflies just some of them again whatever works yeah and let's do okay so this uh, butterfly crosses into the background so I'm going to try and do the rest with the black and if this needs any kind of fixing I will do it with some markers later on yeah and yes this two butterflies needs fixing I will wait for it to dry before I do anything and I'm thinking that I'll put another butterfly here let's do another one that's okay and good enough for me so now I'm going to do the rest of the butterflies that I want here in black Oh yeah, that's what I wanted. So sometimes things work. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to let this dry. I'm only going to do some fixing with black permanent a marker where it's needed and white marker I'm using. Let's see if I have it here. Where did I put it? I've got the Uniball Signal a white marker. So that's what I'm going to use for this. I'm just going to let this dry. I don't want to ruin any of the markers, so I'll be back. Okay, so finished doing some <laughs> fixing with black and white on the butterflies. And basically, that's it. That's my page. I really like it. It's very simple, but I got uh, the image that I wanted on, <laughs> on paper, so that's all it uh, that counts i hope you liked it thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments down below i'll be seeing you in my next video bye for now